Hello and welcome to a quick episode, uh, probably bonus one again, of the mini bonus videos of my daily move room updates. Um, so you'd have seen in a previous video, um, I got some floating shelves from Amazon because I wanted them smaller ones. And a little bit more expensive, but I couldn't find anything else that was suitable. So these like £18 for two. Um, so I, cause I wanted to, send to put my Star Trek ships on. Um, I have moved off there that riser stand and I've put the Star Trek, um, Star Wars figures there. Um, I think what I want to do, if it's suitable, if I ever get those um, Billy Hot extenders and I can actually got space above, I potentially could put. Um, Films in there and the shelf above, and puts me these Disney Infinity figures on the shelf above. Obviously, that depends how um, tall they are. You know, it might be like that, there's not much room spare. But um, obviously, the space of the films plus the space of the shelf plus the space of the figure. But um, yeah, I'll put two up there. They come with black screws. Don't look great because everything else is silver, but I used those because I didn't want to use metal ones up. Plus, those come with them, I think they're probably more suitable. Um, so, yeah, I've, as you can see, they stick out a little bit further. Although, I suppose if you if you were to like fold them, end up and like you did with the like the IKEA ones, are then technically they probably wouldn't stick out any further. But I've managed to put two up. And each shelf will put four Star Trek ships. And I've space up front, so I've put the Spanish labels on the bases so you can sort of see them there on the front of me. So I'll sort of have four there. Obviously, that's a bigger one. So I probably would take space up two on there. And I got that one on the other side, which I'd move that cube thing. Um, not sure if I can actually fit into the shelf there. I mean, I've, I've ordered two more, so possibly could. Although I wouldn't get them all on there. Probably get those two, that one and the cube one, that one would have to go somewhere else. I mean, if I get any more, then obviously I'll get some more shelves elsewhere, but I took the hook off for the clock, so the, cl the clock was there, I'm gonna have to find somewhere else to put that. But I'll put them there, next there. Kind of restricted because of the gaps in the holes. I wanted them crawl close to there anyway, and I had to because I needed the holes to be in the middle or somewhere in the thing, not, not in the joint of the woods. Um, so I'll put one, I did screw that one in. Well, mark the hole, thought I'd drill the hole in the right place, I hadn't. So I had to hold this wall, drill the hole again. It was almost next to the one, but not like they joined up and it's a massive hole. So I just um, screwed that in there and put that one there. So yeah, they're all up there now. So I just need to um, possibly put in the shelf there and see if I can put any elsewhere. Because like the like the pops, I don't need them all in one place. So I mean, if I put some elsewhere, you know, I can do that. But um, yeah, I think they look good on there. So I think that's a good idea. So they have got some other shelves, like these IKEA ones, but they're 20, 30, 40 centimeters long ones. So I potentially use those for something else elsewhere. Not sure what, because I don't really have anything I can put on them. Apart from metal figs. But again, I'm going to need to find somewhere to put the shelves. And I've got other metal figs lying around, so they won't all fit on there. But, um, yeah. So I think. So I try to keep it as close as I could to fit the shelf in, if I can. can. But obviously, I don't want it too close, because I do like the gap there, and I kind of want them to be a bit more level with that. So I could have possibly put that a bit lower and got another one in there. Um, well, I'll do, see if I've got anywhere else I can put these and then I can order another pack of two. And then I can see if I can put one there. If not, I can find somewhere else to put them. But I'll need to make sure I've got somewhere else first. But um, yeah, looking good there. That's using the best place for them. And I'm um, using space. So, so the clock will have to go elsewhere, but that's not really a problem. The moment it's down there, I can change the battery. For some reason that battery didn't last that long. 
So, um, yeah, so got um, five of these ships now lying around, and they and so they fit in there. You know, I can fit four in there, and there's enough room at the back. Obviously, I have some of the ships got a bit bigger back, so I can move forward slightly, but there's still room for that and stick the label on. So, uh, and then that's magnetic as well. The it's metallic it's magnetic, so I can st those are not resting on there, she's stuck on. So I can see what each one is. I can't stick on the front because it, it's obviously not enough surface and it'll just either fall off or flip underneath or to the top, so that's good enough place as any. I mean, perhaps I could have moved those a bit closer and have more room, but then also plan to do this then and I'm, obviously I want to keep distance from the pipe. But, um, yeah, so I just need to really find somewhere better for these infinity figures because I've got the ones up there and up there so I really want to find somewhere better for those um obviously can't put a riser there because block those off but um yeah something else done so um so I look into see what I can do some more of these shelves and get some more of these then I can get four on one and probably through another but yeah just a quick video chat really so that's what I wanted to show. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.